Hi everybody, welcome to another overdressed wheel dress over episode. He experienced the wheel cross dress. Um and it's awesome. It's pretty cool. And now I think who ended up losing last episode? I think we saw Tomari ended up losing as well, and we also see Mire lost too. That was very surprising. Urara on that win streak. I don't know how to feel about that yet. I'm still kind of like... It makes the older characters feel like they're a lot weaker than her. And I don't know if I like that feeling yet. <laughs> I think there's a lot of fans who also feel the same way as do as I do about it. Um, it's kind of mixed, mixed feelings. Because she seems like a pretty cool person with a pretty cool personality. But her winning against people who have been like members and leaders of different groups and have been like at it for years right because you, you you've been playing for like a year or two Emide has been playing it for like way way longer than him and it's understandable about you you had had won against her but it's just sort of Urara just coming out of nowhere and just said like yo i'm gonna just clap your cheeks gg go next <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing a lot more of this guy and I'm very upset about it. Because this guy is the person who actually uses Hexorb. And we see a lot of him more in different scenes and stuff. But we don't get to see him play at all. Because we don't get to see like a new Hexorb. And I like this. Because this is supposed to be an homage from... um. Uh... Let me see. It was supposed to be an homage from something. I think I remember seeing this biker mouse with a pompadour somewhere. <coughs> supposed to be like a dandy thing. No, I don't. If somebody remembers where this is from, え、さ、1日1回ね。わかんない。どうよ。もう、ブロック he wants to get stronger. Go out into the wider world that meets strong fighters everywhere. Just want to keep fighting until I fall without worrying about others. That's not foolish. <laughs> that doesn't sound that foolish. Doing something that you want to enjoy? Playing against people all over the world? So that's what Toya did, I guess. So, we're skipping the intro. Sad enough, I'm sorry, guys. This is from the first episode. This is from the first episode. So it's kind of a recap episode. そんな伝説的なファイターが所属していたチームがある。という噂を聞きつけて僕はここにやってきた。伝説のファイターの後を継ぐ者のファイトをぜひとも見たかったんだけど。もしかして 
そういう骨のあるファイターはもうここには残っていないのかな今の言葉覚えてなさいよ Oh, that's what he says. Recap episode is weakness is weakness is sin. Ah, that doesn't mean that's a bad thing. Megu no aneki. Tanka kitcha tawane. Dot, mokotsui tondom. My incha nai. Nanka tano sta de si. Yo, yo, gome. リーダーはあんたなのに、私がブラックアート代表みたいな感じで出るって言っちゃって。い,いえ、そんな。<笑>さっきのめぐみさん、なんか男児さんみたいでした。何それ。おお、自覚自を、自覚自体に進化か。I would have probably maybe seen。Megumi more as the leader of the group than anything else, to be honest. Oh, she likes the idea of it. Okay. I wonder what her thought was when she ended up seeing you lose. I mean, she did say it made her nervous, obviously, but. Hey, yo. Come on! Come. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. They, they let him fight against each other as a Hexor player? Bro. Nora won't spoil ending? I mean, you don't have to type that to say that. I believe you, but. Now that you said that, that's kind of sussed, you know? So upset. They're following a specific training regimen. Oh, she just went around battling a bunch of people then. Hey yo? So, when Yu Yu was like, hey, you know? The rocky arc? Kinda, yeah. She's kind of frowning at it. She's like, man. How do I play against this? Volume 13. It's like all of the notes that she wrote down. Things that she needs to practice, things that she needs to remember. We need Eye of the Tiger. Well, unfortunately, DMZ. So no. <laughs> Unless you want Paramount Pictures to say, "Hey, hey, see that challenge you got over there, homie? We need you to kind of stop that, okay?" ラーメン食ってた。今食い終わったとこ。海外でもラーメン。たまたまだよ。でどうした？あのね、私デラックスっていう大会に出るんだ。おお、お前も出るのか。うん。で大事な試合に向けて気をつけたらいいこと that's a se that's a serious thing, by the way, because oftentimes a lot of people take it for for um take it for granted that if you're taking part in a tournament the next day and usually you're playing for like eight hours straight, six or seven hours straight, and plus a top eight, nerves will be on edge. You'll be hyper focused on most of the starting of the tournament and like later stages of the tournament. Uh, you'll be like completely zoned out on some plays. You might make some misplays and mistakes. And if you've not been sleeping at all or you've been eating well, it's just horrific. It's just horrific. Then you end up like making so much detrimental mistakes. It doesn't matter what format you're playing. It doesn't matter what card game you're playing. Having great nights rest before start of a tournament is the best way to play the tournament. 
Outside of like practicing, of course. <laughs> she lost a lot more than she wins. It seems. This ain't even about the game. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just basics of sleeping, man. And proving my worth. Sheesh. She's very focused and motivated. Sleep and don't suck. <laughs> Unless it's juice the restaurant. ダンジクライ強い。やってみれば分かるでしょ。I wonder what her flame looks like. The whole stand up, stand up. ターンエンド。僕のターン、ドロー。カリスにライド。ターンエンド。僕のターン、ドロー。ジュエルコアにライド。スキルで1枚ドロー。ジュエルコアでアタック。ノーガード。ターンエンド。ターンエンド。ガードドライブチェックガードターンエンドクリティカルトリガーガボレーグのクリティカルプラス 1 Oh, he's putting it as a boost now. No, no, it's to get the soul. What is he even saying? あなたはすごいファイターなのかもしれない。でも悪いけど、私全然怖くないから。そう。私のターン。受覚銃をマグノリアにライド。ラティスのスキルで山札の上からギノスラを壊る。カウンターブラストが。Oh, <笑> he he denied a kind of blast. ヤセノチエオシオカウンターブラスト1を払い山札の上ドロップのガボレーグとカリスを凍るマグノリアでバンガードにアタックノーガードファーストチェックノートリガーセカンドチェックノートリガー。キュノスラでアタックガードガボレ
he, yeah, he. Yeah, like IRL, the damage denial. That's kind of nutty. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh my god, he's played a good card! No way! ドラジェルドのスキル発動。2枚ソウルチャージし異なるグレードなので1枚ドロー。さらにフレインウォッシュスワラーのパワープラス1万。リッセルゲイラーを2枚。うん。フレインウォッシュスワラーのパワー。
スキル発動もう一枚のギュノスラにパワープラス3万5000続けてガボレーグのスキル発動パワープラス1万ガードギュノスラでアタックスキルでガボレーグのパワープラス5万完全ガードはいやいやいやいやいや決めきれなかったカボレーグでリスタルゲイラーにアタックノーガードターンエンドあ、uh, I think this was okay so this was super smart from her what she did here She、uh, she attacked the rear so it could give her a chance to heal out as a win out. I like that. That's a good strat. Smart. Smart. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, you don't have enough. Don't worry about it. That's 41k. You can only guard with. Yeah. 30, 31. Dose the Magi first. No Toriga. Second. No Toriga. Sosa has a meeting. Well, he secured his top eight finish. Because he only needs to win two anyway, so. I think he won all of them so far. Broken character. そろそろ対戦準備をああマグノリア・エルダーの連続攻撃に対してダメージトリガーが出るように序盤のダメージを徹底的に防ぎながら相手のカードを削って気がつけば追い詰めてる yep, 最初から最後まで流れを掌握するようなファイト<笑>驚いたよエルダーのターン準備はしてたはずだけどあそこまでギリギリになるとは思わなかったギュノスラを2枚抱えてたのもいい判断だったよねギュノスラ2枚がいたからこそトリプルドライブで乗ったトリガーが本来以上の効果を発揮したもしグレード3のターンにアルピンが来てたら展開は変わってたかもアルピンならカウンターチャージして無理やり押し込む選択肢があったしその場合僕も少しプランを変更せざるを得なかったかなうん楽しかったよ私は楽しませたかったんじゃないこれからも続けてねきっと君なら強くなれるから私 100% だったこんなに遠いなんてめぐみさんお疲れ様ですあ,あすごかったですめぐみさんごめんちょっと疲れた、like、she wants to cry her eyes up bro just leave her alone for a minute そうじゃエルバダトーヤー oh she got clapped? okay goodbye she's like yo let me alone for a second <laughs> If your deck choice restricted it, it would have been a different. Yeah. I tried so hard, got so far, but in the end, it doesn't matter. I had to fall to lose it all. Wait, who's the. Who's the. Um, who's the madam over there? Ma'am? 
Oh, let me stop this in case this also gets DMZA'd as well. <laughs> so let's take a look at the uh, what the card that it is. Let's see what a what it. Okay, there we go. What the hell? It's a rare. When you attack, at least with four. Putting your hand into your soul. You get to draw one card, retire your opponent's rear guard. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. You get to trim down your opponent's skill. Okay. A card that clashes with both is. I mean, you don't have to play both of them exclusively. You can choose. I think this is from set six, no? Or oh, it's from set seven. So you don't have to play this. You can just keep on playing both is. Hmm. Yeah, you draw, you re you soul charge one from your hand. So you can actually soul charge your extra grade threes that you have. And you usually tend to have a lot of extra grade threes. Or even draw trigger skills. And then, oh my god, this is... This is painfully pretty strong, man. Set seven. Maybe the witch from XXolic? I mean... It <laughs> like, sure... It's Madame Shady Business. It is. So, and then in the next episode, it's a rare. I know. It, it, it showed a rarity. That's a rare. It's pretty decent. Would I run it over Bottis? Maybe. Depends on what my playstyle is. Bottis is a, a defensive option. And you need to have both combinations of cards to make it work properly. Pride of a Knight. He seems pretty optimistic. Let's see how that goes for him then. So it only gets better from here? Yeah, it does. I like it. I like it. This episode, even though, like, we kind of knew from start to finish that, uh... She was, she was not winning this one. <laughs> we kind of we kinda knew from start to finish she was not getting it. She was not getting in here. I still feel here she misplayed. She could have gone Genosla into rear. Like power, uh, divide the triggers between both of them. To make both of them like either 25 or 35. Or you could have bounced between Genosla into Genosla into rear guard. And then this could have had guard restrict on it. Because let me, let me make sure... That I'm not talking out of my butt here for a second and take a look at Genosla's skill. Let me uh, actually take a look at Genosla here. I uh, agree to uh, change to Stoy. Let me see here. Give me a second, guys. When you hit the same column as this unit that attacks, this unit gets plus 10. Choose all your rear guards. Let's see. Uh, choose all your opponent's rear guards. And for the battle, this unit that attacks, this turn your opponent cannot call cards with the same grade as the chosen card from their hand to Guardian Circle. Okay, so... Type G, I guess. Uh, back row. When it attacks, choose one of your other rear guards, and it gets this unit's power. Yeah. So this could have, man. She griefed. She griefed that match so hard. 
Yeah, she griefed that, man. Oh, yeah, she griefed. Well, Magnolia doomed me missing that key grade 3. No, not really. It didn't matter about the key grade 3 from Flagberg. That doesn't matter. She, she misplayed her attack order. She misplayed her attack order. She could have gone like... A Gnosula giving the extra powers to the extra rearguards that needed them. <sighs> she could have gotten a lot more attack power from that. Because she had hit a double crit, right? So that's two damage. It's two damage. She might have spread it around the other rears. But if she just gave it to to either both Gnosulas or to one of the Gnosulas. Gnosulas could have given it to Gnosula, right? Honestly, I thought that was what she was going to do. Yeah, she didn't do that. So her... I mean, he did hit a defensive trigger, though, which did mean her attack pattern, her attack power is a lot less. So she possibly, what she might have done there was, like, divide her powers uh, appropriately. And I think she could have saved herself by guarding a little bit earlier because she ended up discarding a heal trigger in one of the initial attacks as well. And especially the turn when he attacked into her rear guard. She took one of the damage, but she probably thought he would have given her an extra damage. Whereas that was never gonna happen. So her so him attacking to the rear guard, it was actually pretty busted. But she did commit the extra grade two that allowed him to do so. So if she didn't do that, right, she could have um like attacked and pass. And when he went into his grade two turn. She could have taken the second damage and gone two. Right? And she could have been on two damage. Use wild intelligence plus lettuce plus an extra rear guard she could have called Which would have sealed the deal for her. Like obviously he probably would have still ended up winning. But it would have made the game a lot more layered. It would have been an automatic. It would not have been an automatic wash. But she would have been at two damage. So he would have put her in a lot more dangerous situation then. Mm, I feel the her taking no damage until the Dredule turn probably might have been a better play. Sorry guys, I'm talk I'm thinking about the match. Because it's like it, it feels relatively competitive. Like all of what happened during that episode could have actually happened in real life. All of the plays they actually made could have actually happened in real life. I just did not like the attack order from her. Uh maybe I might be completely mistaken. I might be griefing and might have missed it. But I think even with a stop of the defensive trigger there, I think she could have squeezed out like an extra 5 to 10k shield from him. Because, yeah, you know, because she attacked with 25, that's 10. Like, the, attacking with the, the, the lattice in the middle column was okay. The lattice, sorry. The lattice in the middle column was fine. Gnosla into Gnosla could have been pretty good there. Um... She could have even split the triggers, which could have made it like 35 apiece. That's still still actually pretty garbage. So it just should have been Gnosla, Golosla, Grade 2. He would have had to eat all of it. And then the other one would have had Guard Restrict. And then he can't guard with like Grade 1s, right? Because it was a Grade 1 on the board or it didn't have any Grade 1s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a chance that she could have won there. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get McGinnity Field good episode, cheer up before the next fight to make a powerful win. Possibly, yeah. I mean, it's the, the series is not over. The, the series is definitely not over. There's a whole lot more. I'm, I'm trapped in my brain right now. I can't get rid of the, the episode. Uh, that's to tell you how good the episode was. I will rate this episode a, a solid, solid eight. Uh, no, seven, because they did a whole recap thing. I didn't really like that much. Wasn't really a fan of it. Uh, <laughs> the montage segments were kind of cute. I kind of like the montage stuff, but outside of that, I didn't really care too much for the, the recap stuff. I hate recaps. Unless it's like a series I haven't seen like three or four years. And it's like, oh crap, yeah, I, haven't, I don't remember this. Like Don Machi, for example. Yeah. So be awesome, stay awesome, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you all for tuning in and stopping by. Let me know in the comments what did you guys think of this episode and how did you guys feel about it.